Hi, I'm Daniel Murphy, and today we're actually going to do a science experiment on falling directions. Now, the question we're going to answer today is, can a tree be steered away from the falling direction as determined by the notch, strictly by using the back cut? Can the tree be steered with the back cut? Another way of looking at that is, if we leave a hinge that's wider on one side than the other, that would be also referred to as a tapered hinge. If we use a tapered hinge, will the tree Will that affect the fall of the tree, or is the only thing that's going to affect the fall of the tree the direction of the notch? So there may, there's probably a lot of arborists and experienced arborists and tree fallers out there that are thinking this is a ridiculous question. Of course, everybody knows a tree can be steered with the back cut. However, that's not necessarily the case. There's been actually a, uh, a matter, of, there's actually been some debate on that matter, and I want to actually read to you this is a quote here from a paper that looked at the exact same issue we're looking at. Can the, the, back, the, the direction of fall be steered with the back cut? There was a paper published by the Prairie chapter of the ISA in their, in their uh, the Prairie Arborist, which is, I guess, their, their newsletter. It was from the winter of 2005. And here's, here was the conclusion. Uh, it, the, the name of the paper is The Effects of Hinge Thickness on Fall Direction in Griffin Poplar Trees. Hinge modification consisting of a hinge that is thin on one end and thicker on the other has no bearing on the direction of a falling tree, and recommendations that suggest so should be disregarded. Now this paper was written by Laurie Newsham and Jean Matthew Doust. So apparently there is some scientific question as to whether a tree can be steered with the back cut. We're going to find out right now. We are going to solve this question once and for all by showing that indeed a tree can be steered, and I want to show you how this, I've set this up. This is just a, a 12 to 14 inch DBH uh, ash tree here. It's uh, early spring, so the sun's out, but the tree hasn't leafed out yet. This is a live tree. And I've set up a, uh, the, the hinge is, is, a, is, a, is a nice open face notch. Uh, and I've set up a carpenter's tee here to show the direction of the notch. You can see this cone here is directly in line with that T square, which is set up on the notch there, so this is the direction the notch is pointing. We're gonna see if we can turn it a little bit. See if we get to go this way with the back cut. with the back cut on this one. Even further over than I thought I was going to be able to steer it. The notch is pointed right here. But this tree fell in line with the back cut. And we're going to show you that right now. You can see this is the front of the this is the front of the notch here. I cut this one about a half inch high. So it uh, it definitely had a bit a, a different look, maybe to it even an inch high. This was where the back cut was pointing, and you can see, Carl, turn around and get over here. You can see that this one fell almost perfectly in line with the back cut. So there's the back cut, there's the tree. Here's the here's the knot. And let's uh, see if we can get a, a T-square in there or not. The T-square on the knot says. That's that's where that's where the notch is pointing, and we're clearly able to turn this tree with the back cut. Now, that's not your standard tapered hinge, but it definitely worked. 